Chapter 11, The Darkwater Police Station. Sarah Hawkins, together with Algernon Drake, managed to permanently drive the Dimensional Shambler back at the end of a fierce battle. However, this feat of strength cost her what was left of her self-awareness. She has succumbed to the call of the myth. Succumbed to the call of the myth? Does that mean that she's going to be a bad guy now? Because I was already ready to take her out, like, at any moment's notice, but, uh... It sounds like Sarah is just like a bona fide villain at this point. Sarah Hawkins. Why did she do it? Damn it. So of course we just saw everything. Pierce knows what's going on. Did our guest enjoy our hospitality? Get Let me out of here. I'm warning you, Pierce. I want a short and clear cut confession. Do you admit your guilt in the case brought before you? You don't have any idea what's happening on this damn island. Chief West, we got a problem. Damn it, not now. What is it this time? Captain Fitzroy, Chief. Some guys have ransacked Roy's bar. Oh. They went berserk, attacked the patrons, smashed the place up. It's chaos. This is only the beginning. Let me out. <sighs> Let's go take a look. Shit. Tell Sullivan and Marshall to keep this one nice and warm till I get back. Are you stupid? Don't you understand? I liked Roy. Aw, hopefully he's okay. God damn idiots. All right. Uh, oh, we're sleeping now. I thought I was going to pick up the bench or do something. We're going to get visited by the Leviathan again? Truth seeker. Yep. Here he comes. I find you again. As promised. I come back to reiterate the offer of truth. As your mind expands and finally understands the true nature of the world, your perceptions change. Are you ready to see your world and the ones that live in it as they truly are? Are you kidding me? <laughs> How am I supposed to know what any of this means? Is my occult stat not high enough? Uh, okay. Well, what I want to happen is for us to keep refusing him. Because I still maintain that in Lovecraft universe, the less you know, the better. Uh, let's go with eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Uh, this one. Come for truth seeker. Follow the path of the ultimate truth. Oop, I forgot to turn off notifications again. Oh, he let me out. So what did that choice do for me? So we're all underwater again, aren't we? I mean, he didn't tell me anything, but I feel like if I refused the truth... He would have gotten all pissed again. I'm not really pissed. It's kind of just a a mortal being. <laughs> ah, shit, the shambler again. I thought you and I had the same stuff, detective. Fighters, survivors. I never would have thought you so naive. It's all your fault. You could have stopped this whole thing. Your army buddies, the villagers, me. We're all in danger, as long as you're alive. The hell's that about, Cat? <laughs> huh. We are being visited by some, uh, strange specters, I must say. I can't go to sleep. I keep having the same dream. Bradley. Or should I say nightmare? Pain in my chest as if I was being skewered. Darkness, cold, silence. And I wake up in the hospital bed alive. Oh, poor dude. That voice it whispers in my mind. I keep hearing it, and I, I don't know how long I'll be able to resist. And 
there's the painting Sarah did of us. trust Sarah. Like, at all. She needs to go. Shit, this is our office from the beginning of the game. Uh, who are we astral projecting into now? Dom. That's Cat. What happened? Come. You'll want to hear what these two Egypts have to say. This better be interesting. Seems I'm like Kat? someone decided to grant you your deepest wish. A mutiny? <laughs> Worse. They killed Chief West. Oh, shit. And left his body in one of our warehouses. You're kidding. West They're is dead? Yours. Which one of you is dumb enough to kill a cop and throw him on my doorstep? <laughs> we don't know nothing. The dead body in my warehouse disagrees. We swear, miss. It's not us. I don't have time for this. Spill it. We've got nothing to do with it. Punch one on the left, punch one on the right. That one's not... The one on the right won't look at me. Okay, now he kind of is. I don't know. <laughs> we have a master strength tap when we play as cat. Okay, let's try that. I want to know everything about the corpse over there. Or I swear you will meet the same end. If we speak to you, we're dead. If we don't speak to you, we're dead. So speak what? to me. No! Listen, miss... We didn't see what happened, but we heard uh, noises and talkings, like we've been betrayed. By whom? Go, look at the body. You'll find out for yourself. Interesting. Let's go, Dom. Where is this workshop? I'll go with you. You must be talking about the old boat repair workshop. That is a shiny coat. Yeah. They've done nothing wrong. Apart from killing a cop on our turf. That's hooey. I've never met this Dominic dude. He's creepy. Do you want me to settle it with some lead? Scurvy dog always threatening us. Quieten these lunkheads down before I shiv the lot of them. I'll take care of them. A bunch of liquor sponges aren't going to lay down the law around here. I'll take a look at this workshop. Join me when you're finished. Alright. This isn't the boathouse that the guy in the hospital was talking about, was it? Because I keep remembering he was talking about he went into a boathouse, fell through the floor, and broke his back. Where's the body? Didn't, this, didn't they say they dumped him on the doorstep? I didn't see him over here. Where the hell is he? Oh, there's a blood stain here. Did they move him? Who moved him? Cat can lockpick anything. That would be the chief. If someone had told me that one day West's work would kill him. <laughs> I don't know why you wouldn't believe him. Alright, what happened here? Someone moved the corpse here. Where did the murder happen? Over on that blood spatter we saw already. Over this way. We came from here. So we're pretty sure it was a fisherman. And this is where he actually died, I'll bet. Down the stairs. Huh. What do 
are you getting at, Miss Cat? He died on the doorstep? So this is where West was killed. What's that? Ah, uh, shit. Occultism. What the fuck is that? Where did it come from? Alright, now we're going into weird mode. It was the cultists, huh? He wasn't alone. Who were those guys? Ah, he wears it around his neck. West may have been a dick to Pierce, but I'm starting to feel like we may have wanted him alive in the grand scheme of things. Who the hell are these goobers? this there's only one man who smokes these gaspers Fitzroy Fitzroy he's a cultist no you're not supposed to be here truth seeker what the f okay we have a gun now oh shit I'm blasting What the hell just happened? There's zombies in here, Dominic! Are those the fishermen? Oh god, what's going on? Oh no. Dom, get out of here! Oh no. So looks like we are going guns blazing after all. That was a short chapter. Uh, now we are on 12, Darkwater Police Station again. Pierce saw Kat's worrying discoveries through her eyes. While she was searching for the murderer of a cop, she was attacked by some of the island inhabitants. Pierce has yet to find if she did make it. That really caught me off guard though, Kat pulling out her pistol and us actually firing on people. This game has really given me the impression, the impression that we weren't going to be pulling guns at any point, and that this was all just going to be detective work. <laughs> now it's starting to look like a zombie game. Pierce, wake up. Bradley! What happened? Take that weapon, you'll need it. <gasps> Carol Hawkins, she... Oh, boy. Ah! What? Tell me. My head. You're coming into my head. Bradley, damn it. Pull yourself together. Oh, what's up with his eyes? I can't resist any longer. Uh, uh, uh. Test eloquence. Whatever they did to you, we will figure it out. So try to calm down. Okay. Okay. We both know that Fuller is behind all this. We're gonna catch him. And he will fix it. I must tell you about Sarah Hawkins. Uh, he's gone, right? Was unable to stop her. What do you mean, honey? She left with the bookseller. He Drake? came back, alone. Told me she couldn't resist the call. The doctors told me later. They saw her going in the direction of the whaling station. Damn it. I'm turning, Pierce, into no. one of those things. No, Bradley! No. Keep fighting it, Bradley. It's too late. You have to end this. No! Kill me! I'm, no, Enough. I'm not Kill shooting him. him. Idiot! Now go, you imbecile. Jesus, no, Bradley! Maybe he's just losing it? Maybe he's not actually going to turn into a monster? Damn, man. Okay, so we have a gun now. We have a Colt. Uh, how do I use this thing? Just right trigger? Is this a 
non-PVP enabled zone. Oh, look at that. I never noticed we have a tattoo. Statue of Liberty, I think. Oh, well, goddamn. Bradley, we will save you if it's the last thing we do. Saving Bradley is my number one objective for this game. If, like, the worst Sarah ending... Hawkins was going oh, to the whaling station. If the worst ending to this game does nothing for me but save Bradley, I'm going to save Bradley. Oh my god. So it looks like we actually are getting into combat. Shit. Alright, I'm blasting. Stop. Oh god. What am I doing? <laughs> oh god. What's standard in this thing? Seven shots and then one in the chamber? Is this where Dominic was? Can I like sneak up on them maybe? Sneak around them? No. Get away. Oh, the oh, oh, save the, the officer. Oh, Excuse me, sir. Are you still human? Thank you. How did you manage to get out of your cell? That's none of your officer business. Bradley came to free me. Bradley and his sense of justice. Where is he? He's going ape shit. He's Oh, we can't we can't convince him that he's fine. I left I'm him. I'm sorry, officer. He's gone. Did you? I didn't no. kill him. When I left, he was still breathing. Poor guy. I see you're out of bullets. Take these. Sullivan won't need them anymore. Thanks. Sullivan's dead? Is he one of the guys we just shot? That's a fisherman. That's Sullivan right there, isn't it? It might be. God, this is getting crazy. How, how do I measure how much ammo I have? Ah, shit. Who's this? How many died because of this madness? The whole place is going to hell. Who's there? Ah, there's more. Oh, I thought I was out for a second. Reach the whaling station. I think that's this way. I'm gonna do a little exploring first. I. Who is this? Get off him! Shit, ambush. What the hell, man? Statue saying Brandon has gone into the. Roy! Stupid! Dude, what happened to the place? Is that you, Detective? Can't leave the damn island, huh? I must go to the whaling station. I'll help you get there if you bring me something to fix this wound. Sure I'm thing. coming back with a first aid kit. I'll make it quick. I'm dying. Ah, shit, shit, shit. Things just went to z from zero to 100 really it fast. It looks like St. Brendan's critics finally got him. Probably the cult's work. I'm going to blow a gasket if it's... Go hey, man! hey there. No! no! <laughs> uh, I thought I could have port... I thought I was going to point blank him. Guess not. The gunplay in this is really finicky, but I can work with it. Okay, we gotta we gotta fix up Mitchell. Hey, buddy. Okay, this is the place where the smugglers were hiding stuff before. A lantern and a colt. Look at that. Ah. Sorry. Why did he just... He just decided to die as soon as we got to him? Or no, he was dead, guarding this place. That's what's going on. Okay. Uh, man, maybe there's first aid back at the whale. Or Fitzroy's office. There might be something in the... Up there. Just squad cars. 
who's dead on the step. What happened here? Open up. What happened here? The whole place is boarded. Come on, you can go through the window, Pierce. No one's looking. that he actually talked to me I didn't think they said anything before uh, something weirds going on in here it's the whale song it's those guys singing about the miraculous catch it looks like an old seaway map okay we'll go reconstruction real quick That's the meat. And when they found me, they ate my flesh. It's all coming back to the meat. And huh? my flesh granted them powers and revelations. Hawkins, Fitzroy, and Fuller. You are getting no. closer, truth seeker. I have half a mind to think that Leviathan isn't even a bad guy, but I don't even know yet. The most the truth, the ultimate truth about life. If I prove anything to resurrect life, then it will only be a matter of time before I know how to create it. It will be the end of God, be they ancient and powerful. Oh, so is Fuller the cult leader? And he's trying to usurp Leviathan? By doing his all of his weird... Kooky shit. Stop using your powers and never again approach the cult. Oracle or not, they will not get this. Uh, in Fitzroy? He's the cult leader. And Sarah. You need a truth seeker. Someone with exceptional sensitivity to his dreams. This gift will lead him to this island. Oh my As I God. am an oracle, I speak for him we cannot name. What the hell is going on, man? It feels like the cult and Leviathan may actually not be working for the same interests. Track. Track the truth like the bloodhound you are. Ah! Ah! What has she done? Cat? I'm not dying in this rat hole. Where the hell is Cat? Come on. If I find him. There she is. What's up, sis? What are you still doing here, detective? I need to go to the whaling station. It's locked. You'll need a key to get there. Right. Go get me a first aid kit. I might have something for you. Oh, piece of shit. You're making me choose between Cat and Mitchell, is that you it? You were chasing Fitzroy, but now you're here, injured. How do you know? There were too many. Got us. If I don't get something to stop the bleeding, I I'm a goner. I'm coming back oh, with a first aid kit. Hurry up. I won't last long. <sighs> Plain and simple, if, if I have to pick between one and the other, I'm gonna have to save Cat. I owe her one. It's true. It's been- we've been building to this. I, Mitchell's a cool guy, but I just don't know him that well. This is like Doug and Carly in The Telltale oh, Walking God. Dead. <sighs> Get off me! You bleeding, fish-headed, claybone bastards. Let's check the warehouse. I mean, Charles Hawkins was hiding in here for a while. Maybe he had some med supplies. 
Who knows? Maybe if I look hard enough, I'll find medkits to save both of them. Heal Mitchell, heal Cat, and reach the wheeling station. I guess I could heal neither of them. Okay, get me into the warehouse. This is probably where spot hidden is going to be a really useful stat. You know, speaking of which, let me update my stats real quick. I think I'd like to throw... I probably have a lot to spend because we've had a lot of out of body. Okay, seven's good. Let's get uh, eloquence up. Okay, eloquence is now master, so now we should be able to persuade everyone on everything. And then... I don't know. It's, it's, uh, I feel like psychology is going to be more important than investigation. Let's start moving that up. Okay, validate. Okay. So now we're a uh, master soothsayer, hopefully. Hey, you! Who are they you? got the boss. Nasty wound. I wanted to get her the first aid kit in the Hawkins warehouse, but there's one of those poor bastards in it. Too dangerous. I'll see what I can do. What's gonna make this poor bastard more dangerous than the others? Is this gonna be like a boss fight? <laughs> okay, that wasn't really much of a boss fight, I must admit. Okay, that's a first aid kit. One first aid kit. Two wounded people. Cat gets priority. It? That's it's definitely got to be Cat, just because she helped us out before and she told us that we owed her one. I mean, I love how we don't even have the option to heal this poor sap over here. Oh, he's already dead, isn't he? Hope his boss will have more luck. All right, Cat, it's your lucky day. Poor Mitchell, though. Like, he's definitely a goner. Shit. Oh, boy. They're going to the whaling station. I'd better hide and wait until they're gone. What's stopping us from just shooting the cultists? Crap. He's not coming my way, is he? Okay. Uh, I don't know. If, if the cultists maybe heard me shoot that zombie in the head? Maybe they just don't care? Okay, come on, Cat. Cat at least has a gun, we know that much. So she and I are gonna go just rip up the whole port. Hey, do you. There? So they can talk still, they're not quite zombies. They just all look like Dr. Chenard from Hellraiser 2. Hey there, bestie. Go get me a first aid kit. I might have something for you. Here, take it. Right. The entrance to the whaling station is behind the Hawkins warehouse. But you're coming with me, right? You're not coming with me? Oh, come on, cat. Come on. Come on, one last hurrah, cat. We can, we can go and get him. I wonder what... Mitchell would have done for me then. Because and Mitchell's an interesting character because we know like nothing about him. I suppose I ought to go pay him some respects real quick considering that he's probably on his way out. If not already dead. Is he dead? He didn't make it. Ah, poor man. Sorry I was such a dick to you that first time we met. But Cat, I did owe her one. I'm really surprised the cat's not coming with us though. Kind of thought we would just, you know, mend her right up. Oh well. Never forget that Bradley was the one who got us out of there. I thought that could just tank the shot for a second. Decisions, decisions. We go this way. Let's 
too bad we don't have any kind of melee option to go sneakier. I guess we can crouch while shooting at people. So apparently Sarah and Algernon are in this place. We already saw Bradley try to shoot Charles Hawkins when he was in ghost mode and it did literally nothing. gaggle of galloping ghosts here. So you're gonna grab me at my ankle like the walking dead? I keep on looking around trying to find important hidden things, because they've got to be out there. I'm just not seeing any. Empty. Oh shit, really? That's the end of the cult? Okay, maybe we can scavenge for ammo. That might make sense. Look for a dead officer, maybe? Ah, oh, shit. There's still more of the things, even though we're all out. We're gonna have to play this real sneaky. This is giving me vibes of the end of Deception Island. Except, I mean, now now especially that we don't have a gun and we're not just shooting all the smugglers. <laughs> oh, shit! Who are you? Oh, wait, he's a bad guy, isn't he? I should get out of there. Uh, ahoy. It is I, a fellow fish person. Here. Please let me into your console. Somebody here. Okay, okay. That's arbitrary. You don't know if I'm not actually just a cultist in disguise, so I think it's kind of hasty of you to make that assumption. Um, 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 um. <laughs> so basically, uh, where do I go? Come on, let me pistol whip him. Somebody here. Somebody here. Oh, oh, come on. Just gonna try and loop him around like Keynote or Toten. I guess I use that as an opportunity to walk past him before he gets up. Alright. Oh, he noticed the lantern. Move faster, Pierce. Move faster, Pierce. Okay, maybe the lantern was the perfect fake out. Corpse over here. Please tell me he has bullets on him. Please tell me you die with bullets in your pocket. What's happening? Ah, shit. Which way is he gonna go? <laughs> oh, this is some real Scooby-Doo shit right here. Okay, he's not suspicious anymore. Okay. The lighter should be less light. I can use this to explore more effectively, I think. Let's look back at this corpse again. Did I miss something on him? It's happening. It's happening. Just it's happening, is that all? Oh, there's something hidden under the porch over here. Or the deck, rather. Oh. Ugh, he almost saw me. Candles on stairs. Not the most convenient thing, I must say. Alright, what the hell's gonna be going on in here? 
We're running out of allies fast. Chapter 13, The Abandoned Whaling Station. I guess we went three chapters this video. Pierce crossed the docks where old acquaintances and new faces met their ends. All over the place, Leviathan slaves were wandering in search of a victim. After fighting his way through and after discovering the truth about the origin of the cult and its founders, Pierce finally reached the whaling station. He hopes to catch Sarah Hawkins before she does something bad. Okay, I think I'm starting to understand what's going on. The miraculous catch was not a whale at all. It was some kind of Cthulhu squid monster. And this leviathan is their god, the, the thing that they caught. And they've been eating its meat, which has been turning them into, like, slaves to the, the monster? I, I don't know. It's, um... <sighs> uh, it's interesting, but I'm trying to figure out what it is. Because, like, they still have the meat around. I don't know if they would have been able to... If Maybe it was so monstrous that they've had meat last all these years. And it looks like Fuller has been using the meat in his weird machine to uh make monsters and whatnot. I did promise Bradley that I would kill Fuller. I, I guess he's first on my shit list. Algernon isn't crazy yet. Maybe he's gonna help me still. I just thought of that. Hither thou shall be free. Sarah is with those bastards. I gotta find her quick. No, you don't. You need to kill Sarah. Hither thou th shall be freed. Wait, what did he say though? That was like weirdly out of character. This tank seems strong enough to break down the door. So we're gonna try to hoist it back as a battering ram? Is that what you want to do, Pierce? Like, okay, go crazy. Okay. What do we have to work with in here? A rope and a hook. Could use that to hold the reservoir back. Alright. Now how are we gonna hook it? More lamp oil? Sarah Hawkins was probably taken behind this huge door. Got to find a way to get through. Oh, God. Okay, up the ladder. Can we reach it to hook on there? We're gonna just turn it into a giant battering ram, right? Because they're all gonna hear that happen, of course. And then God knows what happens after that. key. Always good to have another key. Switch to the lighter. I like the lighter more, honestly. Ooh, document. Fuller was a crew member, too. Interesting. Page torn from log two. 33 north, 53 west. The morning is biting cold. This creature made us work hard. Half of my crew is dead. I've never seen such a thing. I do not even know how to describe what happened. It's as if the creature was talking inside our heads. Some of my men went crazy and jumped overboard. This thing is not a whale, it's far bigger. I don't even know how to describe it. It practically gutted our ship with these tentacles. I don't know how, my harpoon finally pierced the skull of this monster. The screw is in a sorry state. Fuller looks after the injured, but some will not recover, so f Good God, Fuller is ancient. That dude is old as hell. He must have, like... What? He must be some sort of alchemist or something. What's in here? Look, look, there's the spot hidden thing going off. That probably means that there's something hidden in this room. Another volume of the Reverend's wife's diary. Last entries of the pastor's wife. Her husband ordered his faithful to come together for a final ceremony in the honor of Leviathan. She fears that the pastor will ask them to sacrifice themselves to this abomination. She tried to escape. This is probably why her body was found in a cave under the mansion. Yee. No doubt the tunnels that we already encountered once. I have the feeling that those tunnels might lead all the way over here. It seems like they might snake under the entire island. Who's that singing in there, Sarah? 
Oh, we can go up a little higher. I see. What's through here? Locked office. Oh, have a look at this. It mentions the Leviathan. How it drove the sailors mad. 37 North, 63 West. Friday, 27th, June, 1847. The whole crew has descended into madness. They speak of dreams, visions of a nightmarish city, and of a sleeping god. Madness. I locked myself in my cabin. I won't be able to hold out for long. Fitzroy has 12 men on his side. They sacrificed everyone who tried to stop them to their new god. I beseech you, almighty god, to have pity on our souls. This will be my last prayer. I can hear them whispering. So Fitzroy spearheaded a mutiny, I guess, against everyone who didn't submit to the god? Be lucky if it's still sharp enough. A switchblade. Can we use that? Is that like a new weapon? Maybe. I don't know if we'll be able to use it Doesn't yet. work. Doesn't work. Okay, that one works though. Okay, okay, I get it. Let me through. So now we're gonna attach it and bring it back to the other side. And we're gonna hoist the rope back. So we can swing it down on him like a battery. This lamp. should stop the cart from moving. This should help me get the tank swinging. All right. So now we want to bring it back, don't we? I need something to cut the rope to release the tank against the door. Ah, that's what we need the knife for. It's not serrated, but it'll do. All right, away we go. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> I can't imagine the cultists are going to take to that very much. Also, I'm going to go ahead and spend those two character points real quick, just throw them into psychology. I guess we still have that knife, though, so... We're still combat ready. Alright, what the hell's going on in here? Oh, good god. It's like Great Wolf Lodge in here. Thank you. Him. No. Leviathan. That voice. You're Sarah. Sarah's here. All right, time to Sparta kick her into the abyss. What just happened? Did I die because I obeyed Leviathan? Oh shit. Here we go, all ethereal again. Who is this? The quest for truth requires sacrifice. There's no room for compassion. Who's there? Your stubbornness of wanting to help others who would have deserted you is a weakness. Faith leads us inevitably to solitude, and in one's final moments one is always alone. You can't escape it forever. It will always find its way. Damn it. Oh, shit. Get out the knife, Pierce. Or we could let the kind gentleman in. Ah! Oh. What is going on in here? So, okay, so looking at Leviathan puts us in crazy mode. Yep, like as soon as we look at him. What in the Zetsubo Noshima is all this he shit? eat his flesh while he's still alive. Oh my god. They never killed the Miraculous Catch. They've kept him in captivity all this time and they just like... eat his meat and then... let him grow it back? Are you shitting me? Oh my god! Look at this hacksaw! This shit's fucking crazy. I wonder what he tastes like. Ah, uh, 
Pierce getting claustrophobic again, poor dude. Come on, Pierce, we're getting you out of here, don't worry. There's Sarah. Oh, no, not looking at it. I'm not looking at it. Damn it. Uh, great. My favorite. Hey, Fuller. Ah, finally awake. I can How see your eyes for once. Mr. Pierce. Uh, Fuller, son of a bitch. I'll kill you. <laughs> no, no, I'm not even really with you. Well, to be perfectly precise, I am with you, but not in this cell. What have you done to me? Me? Nothing, really. See, it's one of the exquisite effects of this incredible creature. Uh, Leviathan! I see you already it... know about it. Well, shall we begin? About to say if he really just left the door unlocked. Sleeping pills? Take the treatment, don't take the treatment. I'm gonna say no. I just said no, Pierce. I'm saying no, damn it! Did they switch him on me? What the hell was that about? Oh, great, now it's open. Hey guys, what's going on in here? We eating some raw squid meat? Don't eat the meat. You know what? Wait. Ah, I get it. It's it's trying to psych me out. So if I don't eat the meat, I want to say eat the meat instead. Are you for real? Come on! I can't win with this game. Sample from you: flesh, blood, spinal fluids. Don't fear. Uh. I created the mythological eye core from Leviathan's flesh. Who knows what I can make with you? I need your body for my research. Sure you do. So allow me to just... Oh, hey, a gun. Uh, yeah, take the gun. There we go. That felt good. I, I killed him. Unnecessary sacrifice that proves your determination. Damn right it does. I wanted to kill him. Now I'm gonna kill Sarah. Can I actually just kill Sarah? Oh, nope. That would have been too easy. Find the truth and be free. Literally none of this is worth whatever Steven Webster was gonna pay us. Okay, so where are we now? I think the rooms are changing on me as I go. Awesome. Did I actually kill Fuller? Because, like, if I did, that's awesome. But I get the feeling that, that uh, nothing is to be believed right now. Oh, also, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. There are so many damn doors. Oh, hey, we found something. Is this a boiler room? Literally, where is the door I just came from? <laughs> oh, this is the room where we killed Charles Hawkins, isn't it? I remember this furnace. Nothing's happening. Yeah, we were trying to break the machine, weren't we? Oh my god. This is feeling like revelations from Black Ops 3. Oh. <laughs> uh, I accidentally walked off the edge there. What is this, like an, a false bridge? It is a false bridge, okay. So, let me try a different path. How about this one? Oh my god, this is like a Roblox obstacle course. There's just so many fake out floors. How about over here? Nope. Okay, 
something's up with these paths. I have to be able to walk across one of them, but I can't tell which. This one, maybe? Yes, okay. And then it was over here, right? And then through? No, okay. <laughs> okay, so I need to figure out which it's... Some of them are fake. This is the right first step. And then here. And then here, maybe? Yes. Yes. Damn it. <laughs> okay, so it's like an S shape. So I want to do... This. 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 Alright. Progress. Start turning some wheels. What did that do for me? Let me go back and twist another one of those wheels because I know there are multiple. That redness is making me think I'm doing the wrong thing. Hey! That was different. So that's the first one in the sequence. Wait, was that the only one I needed? This path is full now. Now I guess I go over here, and I'm... Are the walls gonna keep appearing? Yeah. Oh, I can go under this now. I just got to keep on doing one by one until I figure out which one's right. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now I'm hoping that I can just pull the lever and it'll get out of this nightmare. Ooh! <laughs> Time for a mad dash. Ah! Oh, look, so this is where all that oil came from. It's the wind. Or rather, Leviathan. Go under it, Pierce! Or, or go around. This whole damn place is on fire! Kill the beast! Uh, four cultists. Yes. That's too bad. What does a cult have? Seven plus one? Time to hoist the white flag. We're not gonna hurt you. There are literally seven I of them. Go without a fight. And I have a seven-shot pistol. You think you're here of your own accord? Ah! Stay back, or I'll put a bullet in your head. Fitzroy, how could you? Holt Scotta would I'll never. Three more of the spoken. You will follow your destiny. What? Awaken. Ah. Ah. Oh shit, Pierce, that is not where you want to be, man. I see you. You cannot escape my awareness. I follow your wanderings, your choices, your attempts to free yourself from destiny. But it is unavoidable. And as I predicted, you have come to free me.
Jesus. Chapter 14, Coastal Cave. I think we're coming up on an ending soon. Chapter 14, The Coastal Cave. Pierce finally met Leviathan in flesh and blood. The monstrous creature submitted him to a series of ordeals, at the end of which he decided that the detective was ready to face his destiny. Pierce blew up the whaling station, and, after a final confrontation with Leviathan, he passed out. Passed out's putting it gently. I'm pretty sure we passed out well underwater, which is more or less akin to drowning, but okay, go off. You can't? <laughs> that sounds like a good thing. So, are we in our own mind again? The lighthouse in the distance. Oh shit, is that Fitzroy? Fitzroy, you bastard, get over here. You were holding out on me. Actually, I should probably be looking around. I don't want to miss any important details. I'm assuming that's the whaling station burning up in the distance. So where did you take me here? Ah, shit. Into the cave we're going. Oh, you know something else that I made the connection of, but didn't say? Is that, uh, you know how literally this entire playthrough I've been complaining about how why do all the lanterns have such an eerie green glow? It just hit me. You are trapped. They're all oil lanterns. And Leviathan, the miraculous catch, they've been harvesting oil from. So there you have it. All the oil lanterns in this game have been burning the green oil of Leviathan. My god. This way. Stand up. Walk. And unless I'm mistaken, is the voice of truth Algernon? It sounds just like him. I don't know, I haven't heard Algernon speak in a little while. Is somebody there? Hey! Yeah, yeah, there's a person right Who there. Who are you? Uh, where am I? do without all the shaky cam. Uh, what's this over here? The miraculous catch was a trap. Leviathan wanted to be found. So that explains why they were able to capture him so miraculously. Ugh. What's this? To our fallen crew members. They have given their lives for a greater purpose. The last name added is that of this monument is gruesome. Yeah. That's unsettling. What I want to know is whether or not Fuller's actually dead, because I sure as hell hope he is. It always comes back to the Scylla. It was where it all began. Nantucket. How about that? Who's this painting of? What the hell is that? does not bode well. Yeah. 
It will soon be time, Edward Peters. You are dead. Yeah, you're dead. None of this is real. I agree I with that. Dead, as I see you now. Am I crazy too? You survived. Don't you understand? You couldn't die. You will stay alive until you fulfilled your destiny. I'm gonna tell Bradley about no. this, and he's gonna get over Look you so fast. Look at me, Pierce. Dare tell me that you still don't believe it. You're an illusion. I can't do investigation, Max. We have the sanity for this, which I think means that our sanity's strong enough, so let's say this. Cthulhu, Ilya. Oh, shit. When I was eight, my little brother fell from the apple tree. He was bleeding. I took care of him. That very day, I decided to become a doctor. I never reneged on my oath. That's what led me to Darkwater. The people here needed me. I died trying to save one of them. Help me give them a second chance. Embrace the power of this sleeping god. You're out of your mind. It's not just your life that is at stake. Many men and women have sacrificed themselves for this moment. Call them. You will not deprive them of their hope of a better life. I saw what Leviathan did to Fuller. We will all die like him. His life was written well before it started. It was not predetermined that he lived to see the call. But you? Yes. It is your destiny. I'm totally going for the sanity requirement here. I mean, I don't even care to say all this other shit. The investigation. Oh, come on, no, that's not I what I wanted to say. I was hoping it'd be something better. Like you. I was called here by a higher power. Yes. All your choices had the sole purpose of preparing you for the final decision. Shut up, that you were called here by Stephen Webster. Not just make a choice, the right choice. Not yet, but soon. We have one more thing to accomplish. What is it? I must take you to Sarah Hawkins, our oracle. Sarah's about to catch a bullet. <sighs> this one's not even a sanity requirement. Screw it, I'll say it anyways. Sarah, I feel her calling me. Let us not wait any longer. Shit. Not yet. You have one last thing to accomplish. No. Please. I can't do it. Do you understand what it is? She has already fulfilled her mission. Worry about your own. No. No. No one can fight their fate. Neither them, nor you. Are we gonna try to go for the pop goes the weasel here? Are we gonna break the cycle? Shut up! Silence! Stop! Go away! Stop! Resist, Edward. They're already dead. There's nothing you can do. Just give in. What would Bradley do? You to smack her? Making a fist? What happened to me? All right, Sarah, that was a hallucination. I must go to Sarah. She is the Oracle. She will know what to do. I really hope I didn't damn myself into some insanity ending just there. Because I don't want to side with Sarah, but right now I think I've said things that make Pierce want to. Ah, shit. Alright, where's your bloody oracle? Am I supposed to go out here? 
behind the painting? Yeah, looks like it. The glare is killing me, Pierce. Come on, man. Pick yourself up off the floor. Anything hiding in this corner? Looks like we've lost our oil lantern and our lighter. That's too bad. Couple of directions I can go here. Hmm. Guess we're going into the tunnel. Chapter 14, Alabaster Point. After a final confrontation, Pierce must go to Alabaster Point, where Sarah Hawkins is supposed to be waiting for him. There he must make decisions that could change the destiny of the world. So this is our ending coming up? That looks like the one shot we've seen allusions to all, through, all along. Alright. If this here is the end, my goal is to go against the current. I want to shut down... Cthulhu, the, the Leviathan stuff. I want Sarah out of the business. I want to side with whatever Algernon wants and whatever could maybe save Bradley. God damn, I hope Bradley's gonna be okay. This looks like the end. We got the mystery box in the distance. Reality as you know it stops here. None of this makes sense. Go! She is waiting. Is that the voice of Algernon? I don't know. Nothing, Pierce. To conclusions? Is there not the tiniest spark of a scientific mind inside of that detective skull of yours? What abject substance did you use to turn her into an empty shell? Abject substance? The serum extracted from Leviathan's oil bestows the power of life. To me, my body is nothing but the mortal vessel of my conscience. To you, it contains more answers and secrets than your insignificant mind can grasp. Yeah. Who's the next ghostly apparition that we're going to be visited by? Could really go for a Bradley cameo right about now. Stand up and yet nah, it's Sarah. Here you are. You never give up. That is not you. Not anymore. Not since your disappearance on the docks. Ah, detective. So easy to fool you. So eager to rush to the rescue of a woman in distress. You won't make me regret having tried to save people. I did what I could. Even for Colden. Your efforts to change your destiny although in vain make you worthy of the fate that is yours. The day has come. You will be asked to choose. What is this choice, though? They, they won't tell me. Because I'm assuming it's going to be more than two options. And then my sanity's gonna have to play a big role into it. 
Is that Fuller again? Oh no, that's Charles. What's up, Charles? You took everything from me. Wife. Life. Destiny. You forsook your right to a normal life. The moment you chose power over humanity. No one wants to see such an unbearable sight. You don't have the slightest idea of what you speak, of what I've been through. I have sacrificed my life to the one who sleeps. My marriage, my family, my own flesh. Why didn't Sarah choose me? Why is it your damn face on her painting? That's us. Hey, buddy, how you but doing? You already know it. I can see that you will make the right choice. Where truth? What? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, shit, that's us also. So, you've decided to shut your eyes. Find refuge in denial like a spooked child. You've lost your mind. And to think mankind's future is on your shoulders. None of this is real. Trust your Reality. If nothing's real, what are you? I'm a projection of your mind. What remains of that instinct that pulled you out of the trenches? I'm with reality. You rejected her half-truths. That's pretty cool that they alluded back to Pierce's time in the military. Alright. My gut's going with reality. I'm almost there. Piss yourself, Truth. Truth is trying to mislead you. Truth and reality should be one and the same. The fact that one wants you to do something that the other should tell you something, Pierce. All right, what have we got going on over here? Just levitating them. Algernon. He looks like a prisoner. Here you are at last, truth seeker. She was waiting for you. You were waiting for me. Yes. When I finally discovered the truth, I knew you would come. All this time I was fighting it, afraid of what I might discover. But I was afraid of myself. It's coming. What did you learn? <laughs> Listen to me, Edward Pierce. As I will deliver the truth. Valid sanity. Occultism master? Whoa. That would probably be interesting. To uh, have mastered occultism this far. I'm gonna have to go with the sanity requirement and see where this gets me. I know it's blind faith, but I just hope I'm not buying into her. I have seen things. Strange and horrifying, but always true. Will you trust my words? Yes. One no. Man, one man only prepared by the trials and revelations holds the power to change the world. Because I saw you in the dreams I share with my God. I recognize you for what you are. A truth seeker. One of the rare humans who is able to perceive fragments of his mind. Yes! Yes! I feel the truth in your words. Because it was written. Or... As I like to see it, painted on the canvas of fate. 
I hope we still have that gun. Don't kill Algernon. What? Well, we have the gun. Counter ritual. Yeah, let's do it. Fitzroy's gun. He's gone. You still stop the target, Shagawa. 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 Are we sacrificing ourselves? What's happening? I'm assuming that's what Algernon wanted. And Algernon always struck me as the most sane person. Since he took over right then and there. Algernon just pulls up with the key of Rie. Assuming I still said that right. And it looks like we lived! Dedicated to the founder of the Chaosium, the Grand Shaman of Gaming, Cyanide Studios. So that's our counter ritual ending? Well now I wanna know how everything else ends. Gonna need a second to think about that one. I was kinda hoping that we might get an epilogue in this game. Let me see if the game will let me reload the final save. If, if my interpretation of what just happened, we did what Fitzroy and Sarah did not want. And in turn of that, I'm trying to figure this out. We had, we resisted Leviathan, I'm assuming, and Algernon pulled up last second with the key to Hrie to, like, free us from his will. And in the process, I'm guessing we got, like, lobotomized or something. But when all the, the smoke and mirrors cleared, we were alone on that rock. So maybe we were just insane? I don't know. Let me see what happens first if I just refuse everything they tell me. Where are you? You were what? Yeah, I'll Okay, let I'm me skip through this. Listen. Okay, uh, you're crazy. Look around you. Everything is falling apart. You must stop this madness. I can't make that choice. This will be your decision. One man, one man only prepared by the trials and revelations, holds the power to change the world. Because I saw you in the dreams I share with my god. I recognize you for what you are. A truth seeker. One of- I feel- Because it was written. Pierce, help me! Okay, so then we have this whole cutscene. It's over. Is this to kill Sarah? I can't let you do this. We threw down the gun. No one can force you.
actually going off the edge. Kind of figured that's where this would go. What's Fitzroy going to have to say about that? Is the storm breaking? That strikes me as our breaking the cycle ending, then. Alright. And I gotta know. Oh, hold up. There's a, there's a post sequence on this one. I was about to X out of the game. There and back again, huh, Pierce? What is it? What even is that? I guess that was a painting of Sarah dead on the shore. All right. Let's give this another try. I, what happens if I bend to Leviathan's will? You. You. Yeah, I'll All right, let's skip ahead. Let's so, we can't say you are lost without a cult as a master. And in order to get that, I'd have to play through the game and find everything related to occultism, I'm guessing? That's gonna be rough. Look around you. Every I want a I'll go with this I one for now, this. and we'll skip the cutscene. Okay, so what happens if we perform the ritual? Oh, look at this! You can actually see better. This is to perform the counter ritual. It shows us when we say it's over. And for perform the ritual, it shows her. Okay, so let's try this one this time. Alright, Fitzroy, what will you have of me?
So that's the summoning of Cthulhu ending, and there's our hereditary ending. And I'm assuming there's one more then, but I can't have it without Master Occult. Alright, give me one second while I at least search what this final ending is. Oh, do we have a post credit for this one? Looks like we do. I didn't, I didn't miss a post credit scene the first time I, I did the uh, counter-ritual ending, did I? So then when I back out of the credits, do I get something? Yeah, I didn't get this the first time I did that ending. Oh shit, am I a patient at Riverside? Please tell me that's not it. Please, anything but that. We doubled the dosage as you asked us to, Doctor. Good, thank you. God damn it, Fuller's still alive. Oh man. So that would be our insanity ending, I assume. Okay, so I'm not sure what it is that prompts it, but it looks like the fourth ending is actually not much to speak of. Uh, basically, you just sacrifice yourself, and Pierce shoots himself in the head. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do to unlock that ending, or why you'd want to do that ending, but that's the fourth one regardless. And then it just shows a brief cutscene in Pierce's headquarters, uh, his detective's office, where a painting has been delivered of him shooting himself in the head, and it's apparently painted by Sarah Hawkins. So... Uh, regardless then, I guess I'll go ahead and just boot up the credits, because that's a fitting thing to talk over. And that is Call of Cthulhu, Cyanide Games Call of Cthulhu. This game, I loved for the atmosphere, I loved for, you know, the themes, I've, I've spoken already so much that I'm a big fan of the Lovecraft universe. But it wasn't perfect, I think that there was definitely some things that I missed out on the ending that I was hoping to have. I know that Lovecraft isn't supposed to just be, you know, beat the bad guy and good overcomes evil. I was expecting some downer endings, but it's not even that, you know, three of these four endings were either tragically apocalyptic or just sad in general. I, I suppose if I had to pick the good ending, it would be the one where you let Sarah Hawkins jump off the cliff and then in the end, Pierce goes back to his detective life. But I feel like there were just some ends that left open. I really expected Cat to come back, if only even as a deus ex machina, because Cat was one of my favorite characters. 
And I was really hoping to find an ending for Bradley too. I was expecting to have a whole epilogue chapter, really. Uh, I do know that these developers did make a second game called The Sinking City, and I'm not sure if that's a direct continuation of this game, or if it's thematically similar in, 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 a, in the least. I don't know if there's any shared characters or what, but it's supposed to be very similar. And I know that these developers also made the Sherlock Holmes games, which many people have recommended to me, and I would like to check those out either before or after Sinking City. I, I would love to check out everything else that these developers have done. But uh, otherwise, definitely glad that I played that. I'd say that that was worth a play. And I'm tempted to even replay it someday to see how many different little story twists I can find that I never knew about. Whew. But otherwise, thanks for watching along, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. Up next, I think I'm going to be jumping back into the realm of point-and-click games for a little while at the very least, because I certainly have a couple stacked up from Halloween recommendations that I have been itching to play, but I didn't want to run multiple playthroughs of different games concurrently on the channel, so now that this one's over, another one has room to begin. Otherwise, uh, I've been your host, Jameson. Hope you enjoyed this spooky Lovecraftian playthrough, and don't forget to vote for Holt.